a couple of decades of experience as a as a financial security advisor. So it's mostly really insurance, uh, life insurance, disability insurance, uh, critical illness insurance. Yeah. And I'm pretty I've become incredible in group insurance too, Ari. I've, I've okay. really got a great offer there too. So some things are going to come up today that maybe we won't you know, we'll leave room for other people, but we can sure. pick them up maybe on the mindset call or whatever. Sure. But specifically, I've been uh, approaching people on LinkedIn and doing some messaging. And of course, I'm getting some messages back and they fall into a few buckets. Surprise, right. surprise, right? Like right. some uh, typically, uh, you know, they'll say we're taking care of right now, but thanks for reaching out. So we're taking care of. Uh, the other one could be, and there's a couple who say, I'm not there yet, but maybe in a year I will be. And side note, I don't think they're getting my message. They're thinking I'm calling them about investments. What, what does your message say? Can you kind of summarize or read yeah. it to me real quick? Give me, yeah, give me, read, read me an example of one. Uh, okay, so where the heck? Uh, let me see. Hold on a second, Ari. Because uh, you're right. That reaction tells me. They don't know what I'm. You know, they're I'm, not. It's not really clear. Okay, so. I don't share the screen. I'll just read it to you, Ari. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's basically, uh, I'm sh sure you have no idea who I am. Uh, Did you I, say hi? Do you say hi first? I, I don't. Oh, hold no. on a minute. Yeah. Hold on a minute. You've got to start the conversation. It, this is LinkedIn, people. right? You, it's you, okay. You, it's okay. Okay, okay. Even on all mediums, LinkedIn, email, doesn't matter. Okay. You always have to start with, Hi, Mike, whatever the first name is. Okay. Hope you are well. Dot, by, by, by the way, dot, this dot. is recorded, right? Are yes, you? it sure is. You can okay, go back okay. Sorry about to the that. website. But but yeah. you, you if you cut right in like you're doing there, it doesn't feel natural in terms okay. of how you connect with people. Cool. And that right there can break everything. So I'll just say one more time, hi, first name, comma. You always start with hope you are well. Dot, dot, dot. It feels like a warm connection. To Easy start. to add that in. Yes. Done. And then what happens after? What do you have after that? Okay. I'm sure you, and by the way, I work with this, uh, this uh, LinkedIn experts guys, and this is what they're helping me with. So here you go. I'm sure you have no idea who I am, uh, uh, John, and, and I want, and you want to ignore this. Right, so thing. stop there. We can change that to, uh, we, we, we haven't met yet one-on-one -on -one, but i thought i would it's just a little smoother than what you yeah. had it was a bit rough kind of your end point and that that roughness just so you know yeah immediately triggers their guard to go up got you okay that's why the language is so critical here that's very sort of comfortable and soft entry point so they even absorb what you're saying because if they feel the the roughness of the languaging they'll shut down immediately but the go ahead <laughs> Do you want me to reread it again so you get in the swim of it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm sure you have no idea who I am, John, and want to ignore this message. But please just give me three more. Yeah, you don't need to say ignore this message. That feels kind of like, please, please, please listen yeah, to me. Yeah, I know. That's okay. It's very salesy, but go ahead. Yes, I got you. But go please ahead. just give me three more sentences before you make that call. Okay, this is a classic. Just give me 30 seconds to give my pitch. And yes. then let me, yes, who, whoever wrote this, this guy has got to come to these calls. Okay. Um, but you want to remove everything from your communication and your sales process that screams, I'm here to sell you something, which is exactly what that process is. But go ahead, keep going. Out of curiosity, what are you doing to ensure you're adding more tax free value to your estate or family wealth? That sounds like a sales pitch. Yes. So we got to reverse engineer that. Because what you just described is does not clarify the problem that you're helping them solve. You're what you're doing is you're making a future proposition. You're saying, "What are you doing to achieve X?" Right. That's yes. Very much. That's what. That's very you know eighties kind of, trying okay. to sell the future. What you have to do is is reverse engineer that and define what is the core problem that what you have helps them solve. So can you, I'll help you with that right now before we go on the next person. What, what would you say that the problem I, you saw with that? You know what? I think it's all around making sure that your family is, is, is okay and well off 
and that the fruits of your labor uh, end up in their hands. And I hear you. And not the government. Still, it's still put too broad and generic. Can you be more okay. specific? What's okay. the actual specific issue that your offer product okay. solves for them? So pe people who have assets and that are business owners, the estate is hit with a lot of taxes, government uh, capital gains taxes in our country, et cetera. All right. So you have a solution to that, yeah. right? Yes. Yes. So what I might say is, given that you're a business owner and you probably have assets and you're probably building a legacy for your children and kids to pass along, uh, would you be open? Would you be open to some different insights and ideas that could mitigate a lot of the tax impact to your children and kids when you leave, when you pass along your wealth in the future? Would you be open to that? Okay. You see how I was able to couch that around what you described to me as the problem and now it's an emotional thing? It's funny, you know, because I got, I had them do that and I knew there were a lot of mistakes, but I said, let me just go to Arif with it, you know? Thank okay. you, Ago. Uh,